When we looked at 2020, how we looked at cases was with a degree of concern. As we enter 2021 with vaccines, how we look at cases needs to change. If we think of protection going forward, it is going to be a combination of one, accumulated cases, so antibodies and having protection, or two, the protection that comes from vaccination. So this really reverses the sequence in which we're likely to see recovery. Those countries that have higher accumulated cases and have started to vaccinate already are moving closer to herd immunity than those countries that have lower accumulated cases. In Asia, there is no doubt that everybody who wants a shot will get one. But the timeline varies, and we're starting from a point of lower accumulated cases, given extremely good case management over 2020. So the journey towards herd immunity is likely to take a little bit longer. And a number of important economies will probably reach that level around 2022 to 2023. However, a number of smaller economies or geographically large economies or countries with very large populations may not reach that threshold until 2025 or 2026. I think it becomes a reverse of what we saw in 2020 when Europe and the US were looking to us for how containment led to economic recovery. We're looking to Europe and the US for how shots lead to a boost in confidence and a boost in economic activity. Perhaps the first area where we see the implication of shots is likely to be in cross-border. For the simple reason that when we look at countries, cities are likely to reach that herd immunity level before the entire country has. With shots, we're likely to see cities opening their borders to other cities that have reached that level of herd immunity. And if we combine that with the phenomenon of hubs, where inward and outward journeys originate is likely to change, perhaps from capital city airports to more regional airports. So SHOTS really changes how we need to look, one, at country to country opening, that becomes city to city opening, and the starting and ending points of each journey may actually change given where the affluent or the traveling class are now residing.